this presentation helps us to look at horizontal and vertical asymptotes and to sketch curves. The questions are all taken from the AQA board FP1 examination and for the WJEC examination these would be found in the FP2 paper but would also include more complicated situations of oblique asymptotes. If we look at a past paper question from AQA 2007 we have a curve with equation y equals 3x minus 1 over x plus 2. We're asked to write down the equations of the two asymptotes of the curve and then to sketch the curve indicating the coordinates of the point where the curve intersects the coordinate axes. So let's look at finding the asymptotes. Our function y equals 3x minus 1 over x plus 2 will have a vertical asymptote when the denominator is 0. When x plus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 2. Our vertical asymptote is that x equals minus 2. To look at the horizontal asymptote, we need to investigate what the function does as x tends towards infinity. We use a little technique where we divide every term by the highest power of x present. So dividing 3x minus 1 x plus 2 by x, then we get 3 minus 1 over x over 1 plus 2 over x. Now as we take the limit as x tends to infinity, we see that 1 over x and 2 over x both tend towards 0. And so y will tend towards 3 over 1. The horizontal asymptote is therefore at y equals 3. When x is equal to 0, we can find where we cross the, the axis. So y is equal to minus 1 over 2. And the curve passes through the point 0, minus a half. When y equals 0, we can find where it crosses the other axis. Substituting y equals 0 and solving the equation, we get x equals a third. So the curve passes through the point, a third, 0. We are now building a, a picture of our curve. We know the asymptotes and we know the crossing points on both axes. This allows us to sketch our curve. We have a horizontal asymptote. We have a vertical asymptote. We have the crossing point on the axis and on the x-axis. We can also investigate as the function tends towards infinity, then the function will tend towards the horizontal asymptote from below. And likewise, as x tends to minus infinity, the function will tend towards the asymptote from above. And this gives us a good indication of our graph. 